So you want African cichlid shell dwellers, right? From Lake Tanganyika, but you're not sure if you're ready or if you have the right tools in order to make this tank thrive. Well, guess what? You don't have room for the six foot predator tank, but you got enough space for a shell dwelling tank. Maybe you live at home, maybe in a small condo, or maybe you are in college and you have a dorm room. Then shell dwelling cichlids are it. They're from Lake Tanganyika. They're fun, they're exciting, and you can create a community in 15 gallons, minimum. How awesome is that? Very fine sand. I don't do pool filter sand. You folks know that. Carib Sea all the way, and shells. If you're thinking 10 shells, put 20 shells in. Always double what you're thinking. Food, pretty simple. I feed Northfin from Northfin USA, one and two mil, krill, veggie, and cichlid formula. I've got some Compressiceps, some Julie's, and some Breva Sunspot in here. I'm also possibly thinking about adding Le Lupe, but I'm not sure yet. I wanna give it a little pop of color. The rocks are stacking rocks from Universal Rocks and they're just placed in there. Gives it the rocky atmosphere for the non-shell dwelling and gives the shells for the shell dwelling. They move the shells, they move the sand, they're fun to watch. So if you're looking for something different, you want to stay within the African cichlid realm and Lake Tanganyika is starting to catch your, uh, catch your eye, then these are the folks, these are the little guys that need to be in your home aquarium. Remember, 15 gallons of fine sand, double the amount of shells you're thinking, give it some rock work, make it a community, make it fun. You can contact Butch Livingston at Southeast Cichlids or you can contact Josh Cunningham at Cunningham Cichlids. Either or can get you exactly what you want or contact your guy you normally go to or the girl you normally go to. See if they can get you the African cichlid shell dwellers that you are looking for. Folks, thank you so much for taking time out to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit on are you ready for keeping shell dwellers because well, I think anybody's ready. If you're keeping the big boys, or you keep a community tank, or shoot, if you keep a beta, or beta, you can keep these. That I can guarantee you. If you have any more questions, contact me at askawaywithjay at gmail.com, or share this video, like it, comment, ask the question there, or just hit us up on a Friday live feed and ask the question. Folks, thank you so much for taking the time out. You know what's next. Aha! <laughs>